Hello and welcome back to another one of Paul's Beer Reviews. Hope you're doing well today. Um, I've got a big double IPA to review for you. And it's a double IPA from a brewery somehow I've managed to not do a review from. I've not reviewed any of their beers on this channel, which I can't believe. I had to go through the video to make sure this was true. But it's from Daya. How have I not reviewed a Daya beer? Um, this is their Saturated in Citra. Citra is my favourite hop. Um, and I got this one on um, Trembling Madness. So it's a single hopped Citra double IPA. And if anyone's going to do a good double Citra IPA, it's Daya. Let's just have a look at the artwork with their crocodile. It might be alligator, I don't know. Riding on a hop. Insane. Crazy, crazy artwork. But yeah, pick this one up from Trembling Madness. Um, this is a very highly rated beer, this one, on Untapped. I think it had a four over four rating which is quite rare i understand so single hops citra uh contains water malted barley wheat hops yeast and uh it's coming in eight percent which is the standard for a double ipa so eight percent abv uh daya obviously cheltenham and uh yeah not what else to say really as you say unfiltered unpasteurized unfined Fine rod and milk can, which is a plus. Do like a big can. So let's get this dip, uh, dip let's get this dipper out of its can. Let's see if it's any good. Because I do fancy a big Citra IPA. I've had this one sitting in the fridge now for a little while. So I thought I'd do a review. Look how juicy that looks. Raw. Is that all gonna go in there? She might. Get in there. Get in there. There's a win. <laughs> Look at the colour of it. Goodness me. There's there's tropical looking IPAs and then there's tropical looking IPAs. That looks like a glass of custard. That looks absolutely incredible. Solid one finger white foamy looking head which is in no rush to go anywhere that's hanging exactly where it is look at the color of that that's amazing that is amazing um yeah pale looks like pure tropical juice doesn't it the sort of thing that tropicana would be knocking out rather than daya yeah looks amazing let's get me snouting see what it's telling us <laughs> oh my goodness Wow, 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 wow. And this isn't even this fresh. I've had this. This was canned at the back end of January. We're now, what, halfway through April? Oh, actually, we're at the end of April. We've got about a week of April left, I think. So it's been in the can for about three months. But it smells like it only went in there like yesterday. So much tropical fruit coming off of this. Mango, passion fruit in abundance. Touch of citrus. A touch of lime in there. But mango, grapefruit, passion fruit. Just jumping out of me. Um, let's get stuck in. Cheers. Oh, wow, 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 wow. As soon as it touched my tongue, I had to kind of screw up my face a little bit. I was just like, shit. The hops on this are absolutely on fire. They are killing it. This is fruity as a mother fudger. Um, it's lighter in body than I thought it might be. I'm going to try and control myself here. I mean, they are our daddies, right? They're 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 in terms of like hoppy IPAs. They're one of the they are one of the bosses. In terms of British breweries, they are one of the bosses. There's not many breweries that do a better tropical IPA than they are, right? But this is exceptional. And I mean, I've had some some Daya beers before. Um, Steady Rolling Man, 
one of the best pale ales you'll ever try. If you've not tried, if you've not tried Steady Rolling Man by Daya, do try it. It's an absolute belter, and they've had few iterations of it now, a few different versions, and it's still exceptional. Um, but this is, uh, yeah, if you like Citra hops, you're in for a treat with this one. I get a burp out of my system. Thank you. So it's really light. It's light on the body, and the carbonation is quite considerable on this as well. For a dipper, it's not overly creamy or massively full bodied or cloying or anything like that. It's easy drinking in terms of the body. But the hops are absolutely smashing it. Was there oats in this? No, no oats, which would suggest why it's quite a light body. There's a bit of wheat in the malt. Um, huh. It's really drinkable. It's really juicy. Oh, wow. God, you're getting... I was about to say none of that 8%, but that's not true. You are getting a bit of the of it, but it doesn't drink like an 8%. I would say this was a, a six, six and a half tops. It's drinking like a big hoppy IPA, as opposed to a double IPA. Um, so light and body, well carbonated. Loads of passion fruit and mango in particular on the flavor of this one. It's more the tropical elements of the citra hop that you're getting on this as opposed to sort of the lime and the more citrus um, elements you can get to it. This is all about the tropical side of things. Um, as it's a single hop, I can't even say that there's anything that's kind of clashing with it. Excuse me, it's gassy. <laughs> it's making me burp, I do apologise. I love the body. I love the carbonation on it. It blends so well with the hops. If this was a heavy bodied beer, if, were, if they'd have put some oats in the malt bill to this one, this might have been a little bit of a chore getting through it. It might have made it a little bit chewy because the hop, um, the hop content, the hop character to this beer is so strong. If you did added body to the malt, it might have just made it a little bit of a chore to get through. And I think, yeah, do you know what? I know Daya would have known this. Adding just the wheat to the malt bill, rather than oats as well, has made it a very drinkable double IPA. Um, but it's juicy as hell. Like I say, if you like citra hops, you know what to expect. You know it's going to be tropical. You know there's going to be a touch of citrus to it. It's wonderful. It's really good. Really smooth. That carbonation does really well. It just comes in quite early on the palate. And then all the hot character, the tropical fruit comes in. And it lingers. It doesn't go anywhere. It's not like a quick flavour to this beer. It's a long, prolonged, hoppy assault on your taste buds, this beer. But that, that sort of lighter body and that carbonation just makes it easier drinking. It's actually quite dangerous. It's actually quite dangerous and that's usually a sign of a good beer. 8%, again, it doesn't drink like an 8%. It drinks like a, between a six and a seven tops for me. There's a, a subtle hoppy bitterness at the back end that hangs around. But your your palate is coated in that tropical, tropical hit. That touch of grapefruit is there. Passion, passion, passion fruit. Man uh, camera mixed up for a second here. I do apologise for that. I was just summing up this review. Um, it's lovely. It's a really good beer. Really tropical. Really drinkable. It doesn't drink like an 8%. It's just another absolutely fantastic beer from Daya. Saturated in Citra by Daya, lovely beer. I'm gonna give that a solid nine out of 10. Cracking beer, look at the conditioning on it. Absolute piece of class.
piece of glass from Daya. I hope you've enjoyed this review. Give it a thumbs up if you have. I do appreciate it. Till my next one, you take care.